There's so much to love about Christmas, right? Santa Claus, Rudolph, candy canes. But sometimes we forget that the nativity story really happened. So we've decided to go on location in Israel to find out how it really went down. Today, we are on location in Bethlehem, and behind me is the shepherd's field. There is so much to talk about for this one, but first, let's get today's passage from Luke. That night, in a field near Bethlehem, shepherds were watching over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared in radiant splendor before them, lighting up the field with the blazing glory of God and the shepherds were terrified. But the angel reassured them, saying, Don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard. And it is for everyone everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a rescuer was born for you. He is Lord Yahweh, the Messiah. You will recognize him by this miraculous sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in the feeding trough. Sorry to interrupt, but this is a good one. There's a lot of speculation around where exactly Jesus was born, but many believe it may have been Migdal Eder. Migdal Eder is the Hebrew for the Tower of the Flocks. Now check this out. Did you know that there was a specially assigned group of shepherd priests whose job was to identify the ideal lamb for temple sacrifices. In fact, they also identified the Passover lamb. Oh my goodness, this is so good. When a spotless lamb was born with zero defects, zero blemishes, the shepherd priests would identify that lamb by bringing it to the tower, wrapping it in a linen cloth, and lying it in a manger. Sound familiar? So when the shepherds in our story heard the angels say, you'll find the baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger, they would have known exactly where to go. Not only that, they would have had a pretty good idea what this baby was destined to become, the sacrificial lamb who takes away the sins of the world. That includes you and me. Okay, quick side note. Let's not forget that Bethlehem is originally the city of David, Mary and Joseph's great, 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 great grandfather. So these same hills where the angels gave all their praise are the hills where the shepherd King David would have written many of his Psalms. Isn't that incredible? I think so. But let's get back to the story. You will recognize him by this miraculous sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in the feeding trough. Then all at once in the night sky, a vast number of glorious angels appeared, the very armies of heaven. And they all praised God singing, glory to God in the highest realms of heaven. For there is peace and a good hope given to the sons of men. When the choir of angels disappeared and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go, let's hurry and find this word who was born in Bethlehem and see for ourselves what the Lord has revealed to us. So they hurried off and found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in a feeding trough. <laughs> 